welcome back to our Knights of the Old Republic lore play series. Last week we finished up on Korriban by exploring the Valley of the Dark Lords. We found the final star map and learned the location of the Starforge, so we head off to that unknown system. Thanks to some sort of disruptor field, we crash land on a tropical planet that's labeled as the Unknown World in the game, but its real name was Lehan or Rakata Prime, depending on who you ask. It actually looks a lot like Scarif from Rogue One. Our ship is broken, so we need to find some parts to fix the hyperdrive and shut down the disruptor field so we can take back off, and so the Republic Navy can attack the Starforge. We don't make it far before being attacked by the creatures known as the Rakata, and we learn that this planet was once the capital of what was known as the Infinite Empire. In Legends, the Infinite Empire was the very first known major galactic government founded by the Rakata species. The Rakata were a naturally force-sensitive and technologically advanced race of merciless warriors. They used their powers and technology to conquer and enslave every species they came across. Corrupted by the dark side of the Force, they were even known to feast on the remains of their victims. Over 30,000 years before the events of this game, they built the Starforge, which we'll cover in next week's video, but it was basically a non-stop factory that produced all of their warships and technology, making their conquest of the galaxy even easier. For 10,000 years, the Infinite Empire expanded, and it was during this time that they put star maps on Dantooine, Tatooine, Kashyyyk, Manan, and Korriban. Here's another downed ship that we can scavenge for parts. It's surrounded by explosives for some reason, but I'm Darth Revan, and I just don't give a shit, so I'm gonna walk through fire and take what's mine. Back to history, around 25,000 years before the Battle of Yavin, or just over 20,000 years before the events of this game, the Rakata were crippled by a mysterious plague that was not only deadly, but also cut off their connection with the Force. They lost their ability to manipulate their own dark side fueled technology, and their grip on the galaxy was significantly weakened. Their numerous slaves took that chance to rise up, and the Rakata were nearly driven to extinction. The few survivors retreated back to Rakata Prime, where they were further fractured. Here we meet the Elders, who seem to have realized the errors of their ancestors who were opposed by a tribe led by a warlord known as the One, who was still into slavery, cannibalism, and all that fun stuff. We defeat the One to regain the trust of the Elders so they'll open up the Temple of the Ancients. Inside, we have to battle our way through Dark Jedi and Sith Lords that were left behind by Malak to guard the secrets of the Starforge. Also inside somewhere is the Sith Holocron of Darth Revan that we must have left last time we were here. That's not an easter egg or anything we can find here, but in the book Darth Bane Path of Destruction, Bane visits the temple about 3,000 years after the events of this game. There he finds a holocron, and inside he finds Revan's teachings that would inspire Bane's rule of two and the future order of the Sith Lords. But back to the quote-unquote present, we get to the roof to shut down the disruptor field, where we are confronted by Bastila, who has fallen to the dark side after a week of torture. She tries to turn us as well, and I'm tempted, but I'm playing this game mostly Legends canon, which means I have to stay light side. Boring, I know. But she runs off and we shut off the disruptor field, which means we can finally attack the Starforge. And we're gonna cover everything about that super factory in next week's video. If you want to watch this series from the beginning, check out this playlist here. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.